Hey everyone, Ross is Snow here. It's been a while since I've shared a vlog with my last two uploads being an introduction about my spray booth and a tutorial for enamel hand painting, but Cookie and I actually have been doing a lot of work. Me on my Mechanicore Ziggler and Cookie on his resin gun cannon. So what kind of gunpla work have we been up to? Well, I've been playing with pretty stickers. painting Adding pretty shiny things to my gun plug. Securing the Ziggler base with these little cross shaped pieces that don't fit at all and were such a pain to modify. playing with lights. Someone asked about the LED. Um, I mean, this is the only part I'm working on now, so I'm uh, gonna put in the LEDs for the back fin. There's two on each side, so I'm just gonna pull these out of this connection point here. And as you connect the rest of the LED on the Zigglers, you can do all the parts separately. So like, the arm of the LED is separated and this part that's sticking out, you just connect it to this connection point. Point one, point two, disconnected LEDs. LSO9. LSO9. Before I um, built up the Ziggler, I matched all of the LED to all of these numbers just to make sure I knew which one was which. Look at each LED and then the actual LED parts and then figure out um, what is what. And I would recommend you do this at the very beginning. Um, and what I did was I had taped a little piece of tape onto the wire and just wrote like say um, the color like blue or you can label it LS13 before you start. And then once you start putting the LED in, just take the tape out. I'm doing the first fin of four fins. And what I usually do when I assemble something that's repeated, whether in pairs or fours, is I always try to make one first and then make the other three because you never know as you're going along if you make any mistakes, you're gonna have to fix it four times. <laughs> what was hard about the LEDs is you need to be careful about these connection points uh, breaking. So you can see here, like for example, for this wire, this copper part is sticking out. And you can see here, it's wrapped really well. So if you bend this and move it around too much, this is just gonna break and the wire might eventually snap off and that's what happened to a lot of the LEDs. Same for this point, if you're moving this around too much, this connection point can snap. That's what these um, plastic wrappings are there for, they're to prevent like breakage, but a lot of parts don't have this plastic wire and that's how a lot of my parts um, snapped off. And also, the hard part about doing this is not really like the assembly part. It's easy to understand the assembly. So this is what it says in the manual. And I put this part here, but the diff and you can see it tells you where the wire should go out of. So there's um, openings where you can put the wire out and this is how this part is gonna be. And this is technically done. I would finish it just, you know, putting this part here and it's pretty, pretty um, self-explanatory. But the difficult part about this is 
all of this extra wire might not fit into the connecting part. You don't know how much wire, and it's not clear in the manual, you don't know how much wire the part it's gonna go into needs or it's gonna take or is gonna be left over. So sometimes you have extra wire that you need to get rid of. And if this part is relatively empty in the middle, you could just push it in, okay? That would be fine. And you can see here, it's kind of push inable, um, but sometimes it's not. And then you're stuck with either a lot of wire or not enough wire. And another problem is you know how much wire should be in here, but there might not be enough space inside of the part. So right now this part is really empty, but there were a lot of parts in the Ziggler where this LED wire could not all fit inside. Um, and you have to make space by like cutting up any pegs that are in the middle or like parts like this where you think are not necessary to make room for the wire. Another difficulty is if you have a bunch of wire stuck in here, let's say, and then you try to snap this part together and say you have a little bit of wire sticking out. Say you have a little bit of wire sticking out or any wires that are um, in between a peg or anything like that. You can't really see what's happening inside. And if you just snap this in, it could break any of the LED that are in here. And if you snap one of these wires, obviously it's not gonna work. So those are all the things you need to look out for as you're doing the LED on the Ziggler. And that's how I messed up um, some of my LED. I don't have a soldering kit. If you buy one, you can fix it up. Um, it's not too hard. I, I did a bit of soldering when I was in high school. So <clears throat> I know how to use it, but I didn't wanna spend money on a kit. So any wires that I snapped, um, I just let it be. So you need to be careful about that as well. I've cut a few of the pegs off because it just seems really tight. And I've also glued these parts on just so they don't keep falling off as I try to put this in. By pushing it in and out a bit. And I know this is good. Nothing has um, clipped it. Love that snapping sound. I'm just using this knife to widen the holes up a little bit. And you just gotta get creative with your tools on how you're gonna solve any of the problems that you experience. This only works if the peg is uh, relatively shallow and not deeper than the knife. What's really great about working inside of a airbrush booth is all of these scrapes and dust as you work in sand, blow it off nice and easy. And uh, three more to go. Getting ready for the end game. Here is the finished backpack fin. All of the finished parts. We are now at the end game here. Just gotta Put it in and hang out with Cookie while he plays with his toys. <laughs> Latte, beer, bread, Cookie. Cookie. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. 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 And well, what has Cookie been doing? Well, he's also been cleaning, painting.
filling up little holes. So Cookie's applied some putty. The putty is just to fill in any holes or cracks, bubbles, imperfections. And then he's gonna leave it for one night to dry, let the putty harden, and then sand regionally only where the putty has been applied and just make that surface smooth again. Red putty 바른 후에 그 부분을 다시 사포질한 이 지금 파츠들을 보고 계시는데요. 그 부분들을 다시 한번 더 서페이서를 올리고요. 예. 그리고 나서 이제 다시 조금 사포질이 좀더 보완을 해야 될 부분들이 있는 것 같아서 제가 이제 다시 한번 더 어, 조금만 더그 부분을 샌딩을 하도록 하겠습니다. 다크 그레이 같은 경우에는 차폐력도 굉장히 좋고요. 그리고 또 이제, 어, 아무래도 어두운 이제 그 서페이스다 보니까 굉장히 이제 표면이 굉장히 잘 두드러나게 잘 보이거든요. Doing more painting. 그래서 이제 음. 말리고 다시 음. Enamel hand painting, applying decals, top coating, and assembling. 내 거야 이거. 한 방에 떼게. 
mostly for me, so... So excited. We're gonna have a buffet today, wearing a mask because of Corona. Ooh. Yum, yum, yum. Wanted to come here for a long time with Mr. Cookie. This is so nice. Oh. Marata. Oh, wow. 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 Your likes, comments, and subscription helps this channel grow on YouTube and puts me on the path towards making more videos. Thanks everyone. Bye!